will get a week at the Comedy Store in Sydney, where they'll be working every night in their uh, normal sort of audition section. So this could be the beginning of a very exciting career, or leaving a very exciting career, of course. Papam, papadam. Good. This is the very first skill, ladies and gentlemen. The ability to change from Rogan Josh Korea Pam Papadam to Diane. <laughs> so for you, I am Diane. <laughs> the second important skill is the timing of the call. So tell me, when is the best time to make a sales call? I'll tell you, that's right. The telemarketology <laughs> reckons the optimum time to strike is after, and here I'm employing bullet points for your benefit of understanding, is after you've had a crack day at work with your good for nothing bosses, after you've got back home late in a crowded train, after you've done your kids' homework or after you've laid the table and you're about to shove a spoonful of bland mashed potato in your gob holes. Yes, that is the right time to strike. Oh, I'm getting a call. Watch me. Boop, 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 boop. Bob Jane? <laughs> Bob Jane here. What do you want? Good evening, sir. My name is Diane. And today, and today it is 17.2 degrees maximum and minimum of 13.2 degrees. What a fine day, sir. <laughs> Building rapport is the third most important skill. <laughs> and if you know the climatic condition of the region, the better the bonding. <laughs> so if you were calling Johnny, our old friend Johnny in Canberra, you'd say, oh, good evening, sir. It is minus five degrees, and it's going to be a maximum of minus two degrees, just like yesterday. And always end with, what a fine day, sir. <laughs> The fourth most important skill is, is the spiel, having an attention-grabbing spiel. If you can't get a bite in first 30 seconds, might as well pack your chapatis and go back home. <laughs> so, here's a, a chat-up line from Telesutra, the Kama Sutra of telemarketing. <laughs> Sir, today and only today, you're getting one cent cheaper call. You no longer have to pay 80 cents per minute, you get a barging 79 cents per minute. And not only that, sir, you get three months free when you sign a 30-year contract. <laughs> you get first month free on the first year, second month free in the second year, and third month free in the third year. Wow, what a great offer. It is go good enough to give an elephant a hard-on. And what a big hard-on it is! <laughs> 31 seconds, not good enough, not good enough. Guys, you have to time me, right? 30 seconds, I have to get it under 30 seconds, yeah? yeah. Everybody with me? Good, good, good. Okay, so here we go. Sir, today and only today, sir, we are giving you one cent cheaper course. That means you no longer have to pay 80 cents per minute. You only pay 79 cents per minute. It is, and on top of that, we give you three months free on a 30-year contract. One month free on the first year, second month free on the second year, and third month free on the third year. Wow, what a great offer. It is hotter than the Windaloo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 25. It doesn't end here. The fifth skill is trial close. 
just as they are fantasizing about the elephant dick, <laughs> it's the right time to get their name, address, contact number, and credit card details. <laughs> the sixth important skill. <laughs> the sixth important skill is objection handling. Indian telemarketers do not have any problem with that. They never have any objections. All they get is boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Seventh important skill is please, please, please ask for a sale for that 1% of the customer who haven't hung up or have hung themselves are listening. They want it. They want it all, suckers! <laughs> and <laughs> in addition, pro technical details, Privacy Act only applies to Australian <laughs> Australians. If you, you may recall, 28th of September 2008, when the government launched the Do Not Call Register, you remember you, you couldn't wait to get back home and register on the website. You couldn't wait to wipe the, wipe the telemarketers of the face of this earth. And what happened next day? Next day in the headlines, the Do Not Call Register has crashed due to the overwhelming response from the 20 million Australians. Yes, so what happened to the Do Not Call Register where 20 million Australians registered? Well, it was sold to the Indian <laughs> telemarketing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me leave you with this final thought, a thought for the future. Five years from now, when an Australian from a third world punch bowl calling centre calls India to sell us back a phone or two, this is how they will sound on the other end of the line. Namaste. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give Bina a big round of applause. Come on up here. That's a very brave thing she just did. Good on you.